what is going on guys so today i'm gonna share with you my personal thoughts about the canyon ultimate after owning it for about four months now and having ridden it for approximately 700 kilometers that's as far as what um strava is saying to me and i've ridden it on different and varied routes and mixed conditions like long and short distance rides i brought it to hilly um routes some twisty ones and of course on the flat roads and um all right so let's run through the specs uh this particular model which is the cf sl 7.0 sits at the bottom tier of the line all right so it's got full shimano 105 r7000 um 11 speed um it's got a 170 mm crank arm with a 5236 uh, crank set um the set is 1130 um it also just got the standard aluminium stem and bars which is you know it's a separate one it's not like a, like an integrated cockpit um, it comes with the Sail Italia Model X saddle. Um, it originally came with a pair of Fulcrum Racing 900, but um, I have upgraded it, the wheels to the to Fulcrum Zero Knights. Oh, to mention that it came with the 25mm Continental Grand Prix tires. It has a claimed weight of 7.72 kilograms, but um, unfortunately, I have not confirmed that as I haven't weighed it just right after I assembled it. But now that I have upgraded wheels, the bike now actually weighs 7.2 kilograms. And so, this is a size um, XS, extra small, but Canyon has a different sizing. It's a bit on a bigger size. I mean, when they say it's on a bigger size, uh, for example, my Canyon is a size XS, but normally I ride and I fit in the small bracket in other brands. And looking at Canyon's uh, geometry chart, I can really tell that my extra small Canyon, which is 529 mm, you can actually round it off to 53. Um, and that normally falls in the, the small size bracket in other brands. So maintenance wise, maintenance is fairly easy as I have the rim brake version. Uh, I never had issues with the bike so far though, but uh, except that I did a derailleur tuning, uh, just minor adjustments at around 200 kilometers, which is normally done when you, when after you've covered the break-in period of a new bike, you know, I mean the, uh, the componentry initial setup um, settles in and sits into where it should be. So now the performance, um, well it is really light, it's a very lightweight bike and it's fast and reactive especially when you're on a climb. It's, well I can tell it's a very enjoyable and fantastic bike to ride. And also the handling is very good, it's very nimble. It's got a racing pedigree, no doubt about that. Alright now, so let's talk about the compliance, um, as it's usually most of the people now are concerned about. Um, you know, Canyon, I believe, is one of the first brands who pioneered this kind of geometry design, where it sits between a lightweight performance bike and comfort. And actually the frame design is a bit age for old, but still very relevant to today's design trends. And also, I have to mention that the vibration damping seat post just works really well. Now I guess uh, that the main question here is, um, is this the kind of bike for you? Well, I have to say that the price is really good. Um, it's the best bang for your buck, if you ask me. It is an all-around bike and very versatile, so it's got the performance and the pedigree, it's very light as well for its price, you know, but also it is compliance enough right from the factory and you can still configure it a bit to achieve the level of comfort that you desire. So whether you are a serious racer or a climber just hunting for KOMs, or just, just a weekend warrior, or just a simple bike enthusiast. Um, 
This one is just right for you, man.